Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to find portals in the Beyond update because they've changed a lot of things. Now, the first thing is when you try to use a here. Let's use a uh, a signal booster. This was how you did it before. You would put on a, a signal booster, and you would use nav data. I have navigational data right here, and you would try to find a monolith. Because a monolith will tell you where a portal is. The problem is... I can only locate nearby structures or a drop pod, and that's it. The... The ability to scan for alien structures or secure frequencies... That is now gone in the Beyond Update, guys. So, whoa, let's get rid of this. Got hazardous floor right there. So, you cannot use a signal booster to find a monolith, but... There are a couple other ways you could do that. Now, the easiest way is to get into your Exocraft. Right here I have my Colossus. Now, once you have your Exocraft upgraded, so I have a signal booster, and then I have the other upgrades for it, the A, the booster upgrade Tau Exocraft, and Sigma. Once you have the two other upgrades, you can start scanning for different frequencies. So if you press down on the D-pad, It'll let you scan for, you know, the Exocraft Signal Booster. And you can scan for depots, drop pods, abandoned structures, ruins, or alien structures. And that's the one you want to scan for. And you do that repeatedly, and you will find a monolith. Now, once you find a monolith, let's get out of here. You're going to have to go over to it and solve the riddle, okay? So you can also use a planetary chart, and the way you get a planetary chart is you go to the space station and you talk to the planetary cart cartographer, cartographer, and he will give you random little charts that will give you, like this one specifically is for a secure site of interest. Okay, so this is for secure frequencies. You're looking for alien ruins or alien monuments or things like that, okay? So you could do that as well. So let's come over here, solve the riddle up, and there's always going to be the cool knowledge stones around it. So if you don't know all the words, I would definitely use that to your advantage. Let's learn the words real fast. That way, because you're going to have to solve the riddle, and it's in the whatever language you're in, right there. Boom. So I'm in a Gek system. It will teach you Gek words, and this monolith will quiz you or give you a riddle in Gek language, and so the more words you know, the more likely you are to solve it. Now, that's not the only way. If you need to, hop into your ship and exit, and it'll create a manual save. That way, if you accidentally answer incorrectly or you answer the wrong way, just reload your save, and then you can go pick the other answer, okay? So, let's talk to this monolith real quick. Choose your death. First spawn favor, obedient toil Gek underling. An unseen replication of my own self stalks around the edge of the monolith. It screams in an ancient tongue while forcing me down onto my knees. Laser beam to the torso. I think that's what's going to happen. So, that's the one I'm going to pick this time. I close my eyes and wait to be scythe open. The pain never comes. The doppelganger leaves me an exosuit technology blueprint. I think I have all of it, so nothing new learned. Okay. So I solved that. Yeah, great. Now, once you've done that, let's go do it again. Now, this time when you talk to it, it asks you, the agents that inhabit this monolith accept my presence. They will tolerate a request. This is where you can locate a portal. And you're going to need a special item for this because, and it depends on the system. So if you're in a, in a Gek system like me, you need one Gek relic. If you're in a Viking system, you're going to need a dagger. And I believe with the um, the Corvax, you're going to need a Convergence Cube. But I might have those wrong. But you're going to need one of the two special items. So I always carry around both special items with me for every race, just in case I do this. But this is what you're going to need, okay? So let's locate a portal. Energy surge detected. Portal line. Lie line located. All right. So now we know where the portal is. Let's fly over and go to it. Yeah, so that is where our portal is. 
And I would always recommend recharging your portal. So let's go. Oh, it's on the other side, of course. So here you go. Here's your stone. And I would also recommend, if you have to, throw down a base computer. Throw down a base computer right here. Or, I mean, if you if you can, do a save beacon. Now, if you haven't unlocked that yet, it's in the tech it's in the tech tree, so you can unlock it. But I would suggest either a uh, beacon or a base computer. That way, you never lose this portal because once you've activated it, it's gone. It will not be marked again unless you go do the whole monolith thing again. So instead of losing it, we're gonna put down a uh, save beacon right there. Oh, wait a minute. I have to make some um, metal plating real fast. Now I can make a save beacon. So there you go. And that way it's always marked. You'll always have a save beacon here. And you can see it from space. Your beacons are marked from space, all right? But here, let's uh, recharge these uh, symbols. And once you've done this, they are recharged forever, okay? And I always use the most condensed version. Oh, man. Okay, now you need... Oh, you need to use metal for that, huh? Ooh. Well, I have a lot of copper, so I'm going to use that. They changed up some of the, the recharge elements. That's upsetting. But I, we never had to use uh, metal before. That's weird. This was, like, I think a uh, different thing. It wasn't this. So, but once you've recharged it, you're okay. You just need to recharge it the first time you go to the, uh... I use indium on that one. The first time you go. Yep, oh, copper. I keep wanting to go over to the most, uh, condensed version. So it's all recharged. And so you can always activate the portal, or you can request this planet's address. So we're going to activate the portal. And I'm just going to go with the... The same symbols over and over again. So let's just do sunset, all sunsets. Atlas transport, transport error, location error. So it's going to go to the closest system to that. All right. But yeah, so once you've done it, you don't need to reload it. You can actually just go say, hey. You can always activate it and put in another address if you want. You never have to recharge those symbols again, okay? So you're good to go. That is how you find portals in No Man's Sky Beyond. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time and tip videos all the time. So I will see you guys in the next one.